KPFK. If you're not already a member, consider joining with us and keep free speech alive. My guest Jack Fry is starring in a one-man show he wrote about his first year teaching. The title is They Call Me Mr. Fry. How did the genesis of the show come to you to do a show about the experience of being a first year teacher? Well, I, I just sort of noticed that there were a lot of different things and experiences uh, that were happening that I thought were fascinating and stories that needed to be told behind the classroom door. I kind of realized that why isn't anybody else doing this? I thought boy, this would be an opportunity to give teachers a voice, give the students a voice, give the parents a voice to, to the general audiences and, and audiences at large. And I decided, wow, there's a lot of drama behind the classroom door that uh, stories that need to be told. And you have a background in performing as well as in teaching. I do. If you're not an actor, when you go in a classroom, you'll definitely learn to be one. It's a sink or swim situation. How prepared were you to lead a classroom on a day-to-day -day basis when you started out? Just got my credential. I, I went through the DI program. What's um, DI? District Intern Program. Okay. I have to all attack all oh, please acronyms do. here yeah. for our general audience. <laughs> yes. I got my credential through the Los Angeles Unified School District. You know, they prepare you pretty well, but there's nothing that can really prepare you for certain things that happen in a classroom. Give uh, an example. Well, Tell us something that happened early on. An example would be maybe you're, you're dealing with parents that are homeless and, they're, and a child that's homeless that brings this in. You're dealing with people that, that have brothers that have been, you know, shot or students that have passed away or brother or sisters that are, are locked up or uncles that are fathers or, that are absent or you're, you're dealing with latch key kids that bring this drama to the class. So you don't really quite have their, their minds. And you're also dealing with a high uh, immigrant undocumented population nowadays that bring their own certain cultural inferences and uh, influences. My guest Jack Fry is starring in a one-man show he wrote about his first year teaching. The title is They Call Me Mr. Fry. For more information, you can Google They Call Me Mr. Fry. We'll also have information posted on our website. In your play, you assume the role of several characters, and two who stand out are students in your class. Tell us about them. Well, there are the, the show focuses on, on two uh, children, students, uh, Anthony and Jasmine, and how we affected each other's lives, and that's one element of the show. And they both have rich uh, backgrounds. One, Jasmine, she's a little girl who at the end of the show, and she sort of becomes a woman trying to overcome some adult situations. And the same thing with Anthony, who starts out as 11- and 12-year-old uh Fifth fifth grader. Who, and, and we should clarify, your first year teaching was a fifth grade class. Fifth grade class. Tell us some of the problems that these kids have to deal with. This is one, Jasmine, uh, is lacks a, a father and uh, and how it affects her. They're, they're both, they're very sensitive kids and are children that have their own uh, issues. They're both special needs kids that are mainstreamed. And, and Anthony deals with a tragedy that happens during the show. And it's his uh, situation of trying to overcome this and, and grow from that. And I try to help both of them in an unwittingly, unwittingly kind of way and uh, end up having an effect on these kids that I didn't really re realize I had. So Well, and let's not mince words here. These kids were your worst nightmares when you walked into the class. They were th These are the kind of kids who made every day difficult and who you had to question, made you question your own commitment to teaching. Very much so. It's uh, uh, more than a, a classroom management situation. It's it, it, you're, you're dealing with children that probably are borderline need to be that are mo that are emotionally disturbed and borderline need to be in a special class and that are, that are mainstreamed. Yeah. Of course, there's some really good children that that no matter who you have in class, they're going to be really well behaved, but. Those are going to be well-behaved no matter what. As someone who's seen the show, I, I can tell you that you play that dilemma with these kids both for laughs. There are parts that are really funny. There are parts that are just incredibly frustrating. And then there are parts that are really sad and dramatic. So, you know, these kids, going through it with these kids and the effect it's having on you and your teaching, it sort of runs the gamut of pretty much all the emotions you can experience. And as a first-year teacher... You really want to go in there and make a difference. You really want to go in there and be a hero to these kids and, and be a sort of a 
King Arthur and that sort of a theme. And, and you go in there idealistically, but reality doesn't quite fit and match expectations. And uh, and, you, and you're not you're still green and you haven't been around for five or ten years and so you become a, as a lot of teachers become an insensitive to it not insensitive in a way that that's negative but but insensitive way that they can still carry on they still they, you know they can they can leave it at the classroom door when they go home so we see these characters in your play too you have a veteran teacher who is very effective at controlling students but you wonder what kind of effect she has on them in the long term we see how it affects your personal relationships outside of the classroom. We really get the whole picture of the highs and lows of a first-year teacher. But what else do you want them to take from this when they come see your show? I want them to, to realize that whatever dreams that they have, whatever uh, hopes that they have, that doesn't matter what it is, they can still do them. Uh, n- nothing's too late. That our dreams are, are are worth getting out out of bed in the morning. And and if anybody who's had a teacher, been a teacher, or has ever been a student, really can relate to this. My uh, guest Jack Fry is starring in a one man show he wrote about his first year teaching. The title is They Call Me Mr. Fry. Saturday at eight. That's tomorrow at eight p.m. Or the following Saturday, August seven at three p.m. For more information, you can Google They Call Me Mr. Fry. That's F R Y. Or go to the Deadline LA portion of the KPFK website. Thanks, Jack Fry.